Well, if it isn't little Peppa Sanchez from Mexico. She's the smallest pig on the circuit, but don't let that fool you. She's been extremely quick in practice. Let's hope she can continue that form over the next few weeks and the next few months. And having said that, it is an extremely important week this week because it's the first ever week of the League of Pigs. All the pigs will be wanting to win the maiden race, which is moments away from starting. So let's see what happens. The pin moments away from being pulled. Ginger looks excited. The door drops and Ginger does get a good start, but so does Pepper Sanchez. And Pepper's out by a snout here, but the little Ginger Pig isn't going to let her off that easy. Who will win the maiden race? She's keeping up with the pressure. Is she going to do it to the line? And she does in 10.03, and it's a course record on account of it being the first ever race of the League of Pigs. Congratulations, Pepper, for scoring 10 points and getting Mexico its first victory. Ginger will have to settle for 7 points. Smalls will get 5 points for his third. Hoshi waddles in in fourth and gets himself three points and Bear gets a point for finishing. Bear just seems happy to be part of this, I think. As the door drops, Ginger gets a good start but Pepper gets a better one and holds it all the way down to the line. There's pressure throughout but she holds a nerve and scores 10 points. Smalls has to settle for third and get the last podium place. Hoshi waddles over and gets fourth and Bear, I'm not sure if she realises she's in a race but she still gets one point for finishing. It's the big man from Japan. It's Hoshi Oinku. He's the second biggest pig on the circuit. He's certainly the heaviest set. Hoshi has no neck at all. So he's a really heavy frame pig. Very, very strong, but some people think he's a bit too heavy and has weight issues. That's yet to be seen, but there's a lot of questions to be answered by Hoshi this season. And as we head over to our second race, who will get their first ever win and join Pepper at the top of the table, or will Pepper extend her lead? The door goes down and Ginger gets a good start and so does Hoshi, but Ginger gets a better one. Does Hoshi have anything to answer with? I don't think he does. I think he's dropping off the back and I think Bear's taking advantage and trying to go for second here. But it's Ginger at the line and it's 9.17 and it's another course record. That didn't take long. And Hoshi has to settle for second. And to be honest with you, I think he's lucky because Bear was on his heels the whole way. Smalls finds himself out of podium position, which is unusual for Smalls. And Pepper, right at the back, it's a far cry from the first race for Pepper. They come out and Ginger has the best start. Hoshi has nothing to answer with and so it becomes Ginger's by default. And as they head over the line, Ginger gets 10, Hoshi gets 7, Bear gets 5 for 3rd, Smalls gets 3 for 4th and Pepper gets 1 for finishing. Oh and here's a crowd favourite, it's Ginger Hamilton from the UK. She's a middleweight pig at £27. She has a lot of attitude, a big diva behind the scenes but she's an excellent racer. So it's a privilege to see Ginger here today. Let's see how the third race goes. The door drops by Smalls, but it's Pepper who's got the jump and Pepper's out. Can Smalls respond? I think he is, and he is extending forward now, and I think he's going to solidify the win. Ginger's in the mix. Will she get second? No, Pepper holds her off. But it's 9.17 for the big man from the USA, and he equals the course record of Ginger. What a way to answer back in that third race. Pepper defending her second place in scoop seven, seemingly out of nowhere for Mexico. Congratulations, though, to Piggy Smalls with a fantastic middle section. Let's see that again. Smalls pushes the door down, but it's Pepper with the jump. But when Smalls gets into a rhythm, he really, really starts to rock it forward. And towards the later section, the win is his by quite some margin. Ginger once again pipped to the post by Pepper and must be getting quite annoyed with her at this point. Hoshi has to settle for fourth. Oh, it's the big pig from the USA. It's Piggy Smalls as he rips a plant up from the paddock. And he'll need to eat that because he's got 35 pounds of weight to sustain. Easily the biggest pig on the circuit. He's very long. He's very wide. And he's quite strong. He's been doing very well in the middle sections of races in practice. Let's see if that's going to happen in season one. Ginger looks excited again. Door taking a while. And Hoshi and Bear appear with a good start. But Hoshi has a better start. And Bear seems to fade. And I think Pepper's taking advantage of that and going for second. Ginger's in the mix as well. But Piggy Smalls on the near side takes third. Takes second. Will he take first? No, he won't. Hoshi Oinku gets it. And it's 11-12. It's not the quickest race we've seen. But 10 points is 10 points from the man from Japan. Congratulations, Hoshi Oinku, on his first ever victory. Smalls does extremely well from the poor start that he got to get second. So well done to him. I'm not sure who got third again. As the door drops, Hoshi and Bear appear, but Bear fades to nothing, and Hoshi capitalises and gets the win. 
Pepper looks dangerous, but then Piggy Smalls comes on the near side and he overtakes everyone but Hoshi to get second. I still don't know who's got third. Hoshi comes in, so does Smalls, and then Pepper once again beats Ginger to the line. We're joined by Bear Trotsky from Russia. Bear not having the best performance, it has to be set up until this point. But she's one of the lightest pigs at 21 pounds and she's a bit taller than Pepper and a bit longer. So you would hope that that would really make the difference in pig racing. It's not seen so far, but a lot of potential maybe for Bear. Let's head over to the fifth race out of seven. Door drops, Bear gets a good start and so does Smalls and Ginger's in the mix as well and Smalls pulling forward a little bit. But Bear responds and it's an extremely quick race. I think we're going to see a very big time here by Bear. And it's 8.72, it's a new course record, smashing the previous one and also smashing the nine second barrier. Congratulations Trotsky, a pig until this point had no promise, now comes in and gets the course record. It just shows how open this field is. Let's see that again. As the door drops, Smalls and Bear especially get good starts. Smalls looks dangerous, but then Bear really digs deep and pulls forward and gets her nose across in what is a fantastically quick race. I'm still not sure who got third and second. It's Smalls who gets third and Ginger second. And we're back with Hoshi, who's decided that the best way forward is to eat as many dandelions as he can before the next race. It's probably not a bad strategy in fairness, given that he's 30 pounds and he's in the baking hot sun. He looks calm and collected as always. Let's see if this helps him in the next race. The penultimate race of the week about to start. Pigs are jostling for position. Door taking an age to drop. And it's dropped by Sanchez. And Sanchez has a good start, but Ginger has a better start. And now it's Ginger's turn to defend first. And she's going forward. And I don't think the Mexican rival has anything to answer. And I don't think it is. And I think it's Ginger who gets the second win and propels herself to the top of the league. Congratulations, the UK and Ginger, for getting their second win this week. And I think she's going to stay there because she's had a quite a few second places as well. Oh, and there's a disagreement about food there. Let's see that again. The door taking a while to drop, but when it does, Sanchez pushes it down. And Ginger flies off as well, though, and defends it from the Mexican rival. Bear just waltzing, not really caring. Very disappointing from Bear, it has to be said. Ginger finally pips her rival at the line. Smalls bags the third place. And then Hoshi and Bear come over and Eon later. And we join the gang, all trying to get their body temperature low for this final race. Hoshi presumably off somewhere eating dandelions and going with that extra calorie strategy. Pigs love to wallow and especially on a hot day like today. A lot of them will be trying to beat Ginger and see if they can propel themselves towards the top of the table. Pepper there looking for a bit of extra comfort. But only suffices to annoy Ginger. You can't help feel they'd be a bit more comfortable if they gave each other space, but there you go. And we're on to the final race. Will anyone catch up with Ginger? Bear trying to peek over the box. Door goes down. Bear does have a good start. So does Ginger. Hoshi's in the mix as well. But Piggy Smalls on the near side comes out of nowhere and overtakes all three. And this is a phenomenal performance from the American who crosses the line, gets his second victory. But my Lord, what a middle section from Piggy Smalls. And to be honest with you, I think the rest of them are a little bit unnerved. That has blown the competition wide open in week two. What a performance from the American there. As the door goes down, they all get a good start, but not particularly Piggy Smalls. But as he gets his bounce on, that momentum carries him all over. And he's just in a league of his own. He's a whole pig length away. What a performance. Ginger does well to get second and so does Bear to get third. The race for third more competitive than the race for first. And as we close out week one, Ginger finds herself at the top of the table with 49 points and that's due to five top two finishers. Smalls is in second at 45 points and that's due to six podium positions. Pepper and Hoshi will have to settle for third at 32 points apiece. 
and Bear is at the bottom of the table on 24 points and that's due to four last place finishes but does have the course record so there's some promise there. Join us in week two to find out who is one step closer to winning season one of the League of Pigs.